Your dear to mother, Nike. I am indeed one and the same person. What do you want of me? Um, your face paint? What's up guys and welcome back to Melaloo Gaming. This is episode 32 of Greedfall. Um, we're in the middle of so many things right now. <laughs> if we, well, first off, we gotta level up. And what I did was I purchased, cause it costs so much, um, Assassin's Touch. And that's under the Anointed Weapons skill tree here. And if I could get back to it, there we go. Uh, weapons that were anointed with a poison alchemical mix apply a stronger dose of poison. Dose applied, plus 50%. Um, also went over to talents and picked up vigor level one because it, it, I can't believe I haven't even bothered with vigor. Um, aside from actually getting to jump over, like I guess small obstacles, it increases the maximum ammo capacity and lets you slightly recover HP and magic outside of combat. Which, I can't believe I just completely overlooked that. <laughs> oh, and for quests. Um, I mean, we are rolling with Constantine's fate. I spoke to him for like 15 seconds just because we started off uh, inside his chambers. And he was doing awful. I mean, guys, he is in bad shape. <laughs> so finding these healers just seems like it should be the next course of action. Um, playing the role of Desarde. Um, also in our side quests, I've been putting De uh, Decosilion's research on the back burner. I haven't really been trying to find the camps. If I do, that's cool. But if not, whatever. And Champion of the Arena. I don't feel like right now is an appropriate time to go uh, rogue and start fighting in uh, in arenas in, in the basement of an inn. So <laughs> we're left with uh, Petrus's quest. The origins of Teleme theological conflicts. Uh, we still have to wait on that before we can pursue it. Uh, but we have to, um, dangerous bets with Petrus. We could talk to him about his plan. Um, we also have the demoniacal cult, a cure for Malachor, and scholars in the expedition. I don't know if I should search for a cure for the Malachor first or find a healer. Maybe these are all in tandem. But I do want to find the native healer in Wen Chave. Wen Chave? Wen Dav thing? Um, <laughs> we'll find a native healer, figure out what's going on there. And then I think next we'll start doing these uh, Cure for Malachor main quests. That brings us to the Singing Waters. Oh! Brings go. us to a battle? Okay. Okay, yep, I forgot they do that. We're gonna shadow burst. Wow, we're gonna get hit with dawn. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> that wasn't where I wanted it to go. Alright, I gotta get out of here. Take a swig. There we go. There we go. Wow. I mean, it says they're unbalanced, but it just seemed like... Oh, that was a nice little uh, death jiggle. Um, it just didn't seem like they were unbalanced. <laughs> they were eating hits left and right. i to take everything as I do. Oh, we sold a lot of stuff. Um, I figured my rule of thumb for inventory management when it comes to, like, uh, dumping the goods is if I don't... If I haven't used it recently... I don't need it. 
Okay. Katasha's Adobe. Let's head there. About face, forward, and flail. So, hope you guys are doing well. Um, I should be releasing this video on the Friday before Mother's Day. So, those of you um, who are still in need to get cards for the mothers in your lives, do so. Um, you know, if that's what you're planning. Hopefully that's a little helpful reminder. Oi, Renaixe. Have you seen the young man about? Tough looking? He may be wounded? No, I don't think so. I mean, if he may be wounded, he ain't that tough. <laughs> okay, seriously, I didn't see anybody. I'm sorry, sir, I can't help you. Healer! We're looking for your healer. So maybe when we find the healer, that healer can help the wounded tough guy. Get out! Who do you think you are to defoil our ritual? One of those moin shakers, no doubt. Aiden, it is your duty to assure we are not interrupted. A thousand pardons, Tien. It is indeed one of those moin shakers. A moin shaker? Look at him more closely, Aiden. He is on Almanawi. Present yourself and tell me why you interrupt our ceremony. My name is Desarde. I have come looking for you to ask for your help. Then, how can I help you? My cousin suffers from a terrible sickness, the Malachor. I do not know this sickness. But perhaps we call it by a different name. It turns the blood black and provokes terrible suffering. And alas, it is fatal in all cases. We've never seen the ailing touched by such a sickness. And I doubt I am able to heal your cousin. We are looking for a remedy, but urgently need to relieve his pain. Could you slow the progression of the sickness? Keep him from suffering? In that, I can help you. I know how to make one forget the pain, even the most severely wounded. But Tiern, with all that is happening now, you cannot leave to visit this ill person. It is true. My village needs me now. I cannot leave. I must attend them. What is going on? Perhaps we can help you. Truly? You? Do they have a choice, Aiden? They do really seem to have need of me, don't they? Well then, tell us what we need to do. The situation has become unbearable. And it all started when these Moin Shakers began arriving. They wanted to convert everyone and take them to another place. Turn them away from us. And of course, the village folk would not be persuaded. But the Moin Shakers remained. And it was also at that time the Tenlands started to attack. It is not their way to do as such. There are many wounded. And recently, many have gone missing. We must discover from where these monsters come. I can try and talk sense into the missionaries, perhaps with the help of Bishop Petrus. As for the attacks of the creatures, I will see what I can do, but I need more information. Our master hunter, or the families of the Taken, could most likely help you. Very well. I'll take care of it. Make preparations to accompany us. The days are burning like very thin candles. Do not worry. If you see to the concerns of my village, I will be most happy to accompany you. Let's go and see this master hunter. He may be able to explain all there is to learn about these attacks. Read my mind, Desaude. I'm like, master hunter, that is exactly who we need to see. I wonder why I couldn't travel to that waypoint. Maybe I didn't select it. Ooh, um, hmm. I feel like there was something I wanted to check while he was talking and I forgot what it was. Well, tally ho. Good day. Are you the master hunter? Bear tear to mother and I say. I am indeed one and the same person. 
What do you want of me? Um, your face paint? Regarding the attacks, ask him to explain the problem. The Dunaygad, Katasach, spoke to me about the animal attacks. Can you tell me more? The Ten Lands have been angered. They are very angry. The beasts have always lived here. But they only attack if we tread near their nest. Of late, they attack on sight. There have been many wounded, and some of our young have even disappeared. It may be that the Ten Lands killed them, but it is also possible they followed the missionaries. Ask about the Ten Lands. What can you tell me about the Ten Lands? They are normally very peaceful creatures, very calm, but who defend their young with fury. During the attacks, I noticed that they were not all the same. Not all from the same nest. What do you mean? That the other beasts don't come from here, but from other places. And that they are coming more and more often. Are they teaming up? Speak about the victims. Were there many victims? Many wounded. Thanks to the healing powers of the Donegan, they survived. But the attacks happen more and more often. And they come with greater fury. I try to chase them away. To destroy any nests that I found. But still, more of them come. And now our children disappear. The stress alone could kill our village. Can you tell me who the children are? A young fisherman and a gatherer. You will find the sister of the woman and the brother of the man in the village. I will go and see them. Ask him why the Tenlands are so aggressive. Mm. How do we defeat them? I believe I can help you in your fight against the Tenlands. How would you advise me to go about it? You must destroy their nests. It's sad, but the only way to stop their numbers growing there are most likely three around here. I can point you in the direction to one that I discovered. I would have taken care of it, but my village cannot spare my presence here. I must keep watch. I did not find the two others. Some in the village may know where to find them. Hmm. And how would I go about destroying the nests? You must burn them and kill the dominant one or else they will build again. We see them especially at dawn. After that, we no longer see them. But be careful, Renaxi. The night belongs to the Tenlands. That is when they are most awake. Going out at night is very dangerous. I thank you for your advice. We shall go and destroy these nests come dawn. I wonder if the Tenlands are what we just fought. Those uh, little roly-poly jiggly guys. Um, why are they so aggressive? Isn't it odd that these creatures who are normally passive have become so aggressive? Yes. Yes. This has never happened in my lifetime. What do you know? Speak. Lives are at risk. I do not speak of things I am not sure of. The Renaik say, like you, do not understand the bond we have with nature. Okay, let's see. Talk to the missing villagers, families. Find and destroy the Tenlands nests. Requires a chemical preparation of elemental damage. All right. Um, insist on talking about the creature's uh, aggressivity. Propose to help and speak about the missionaries. All right. Let's keep talking about how aggressive they are. Look. I really need you to tell me what you know about the cause of these attacks. I regret I cannot speak words about something you would not understand. And as you say, it is only an intuition. I respect that a lot. I, I am uh, I'm one to not to like to speculate. So I could agree with you. But I do like to infer in stories like this. So they're totally mad because it's some sort of pheromone, and it's a it's totally a sci-fi trope. Um, it's it's legit. It's 100%. It's exactly what's going on. Propose to help. Is there anything that we might be able to do for you? 
who so is destroying their nests and fighting the Dernlands? Do you know the art of crafting weapons? Our artisan was among the wounded, and my weapon is broken. I can try to repair it. Here, in this condition, it is of no use to me at all. Speak about the missionaries. What do you know about the missionaries? The Moin Shakers. They came here before the attacks of the Tenlands and buzz around us like flies. They speak of light, of demons, and the soul. Their words make little sense. All that they want is for us to join their village and that we serve them as if they were Tiern. They want to make us Renaigse. They want to sever our bond with our lands. Their words do not touch those old enough to understand, but the young are sometimes swayed and listen. They follow them to their Eden village. And they become their servants. Their bond is cut. Have you tried to fight them? No. But some have fought. Because they treat the young girls badly. I think if not for the attacks, no one would have turned to them and their light. But hope fled our village. And the weak of courage have doubts and listen to their lies. It sounds as if the attacks began at a timely moment for the missionaries. I must be going. Katasach advised us to speak with the families of those missing. Perhaps they might know where the tenants have built their nests. This is extremely peculiar. I wonder if the missionaries are involved in some magic. You know, that to, to stir up the tenlands. Hmm. Here is your weapon. It has been made new. Thank you. You have given it back its purpose. It belonged to my master before me, and you have understood its nature. It may be that you are more on our Manawi than Renaixe, and that you will one day see as we. During my walks, I saw a great Tenlan of clear skin. The others seemed to follow him. I felt that he called them, that he fed them rage, and that his place is not here. Why didn't you try to kill it? He is very strong, and the others protect him. I was only able to track him to his lair, a cavern. I placed traps all around it, but all were avoided. He is clever. You say he doesn't have his place here. What do you mean? That he was brought here. To attract the others and make them rage. By men. The Renaiks, eh? But I cannot prove this. That is why I did not wish to voice these thoughts. I feel it. Nothing more. Well, that's peculiar. I must be going. So, if th if they brought the Tenlin with clear skin over to aggro all the other Tenlins, is this a practice that they've done before? Like, how do you stumble upon doing something like that? Capture a creature and then go, oh yeah, he's totally just going to aggro everybody. And then I wonder if they're like, if the missionaries are stealing the kids and using the Tenlin as an excuse and saying the Tenlin are stealing the kids since the young ones are so easily swayed. They're hoping for like a kidnap mind wash combo. Nope, 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 guys, 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 chill out, chill out. No, 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 not yet. We gotta talk to some families. We got a little small little 20 meter walk over here to a little adobe. We're good. We're good. Good day. My name is Desarde from the congregation. I've been told that someone dear to you has disappeared. Yes. 
My little brother. He left to go fishing, like every day, and he did not return. Your Denegar asked me to help you. Any information you can give me will be very useful. This is true. I hope your words to be heartfelt. My insides are twisting in fear that my brother is lost. Information? What did your brother look like? Can you describe your brother for me? He is young, rather tall and strong. The girls find him handsome. He is such a nice boy, but he is wild off the tether, and often his curiosity gets him in trouble. Can you tell me more precisely when he disappeared, where, and under what circumstances? It was two days past. I saw him leave to go fishing, as he was often to do. And you cannot remember anything out of the ordinary? No, he was full of joy, full of life. I am so worried about him. Any enemies? Did your brother have any enemies? No. I can't think of anyone who would plant strangle weeds in his garden. Perhaps a youthful rivalry. He didn't get along particularly well with the Master Hunter, but it was nothing serious. Perhaps the missionaries. He did get into a fight with them, but they surely wouldn't have taken him. But it's still a lead. Was he close to anyone? He has been dreamy and more joyful than usual. Those are the signs of someone stricken with love. But he no longer wants to share secrets with me. He told me that he has grown beyond the shadow of his brother. And the birds in his branches are his. What do you think most likely happened to him? He could have come face to face with Tenlands. They've become angry of late. But he knew how to avoid them. He might have had a run-in with the Mind Shakers as well. He got into a fight with them a while back. Because of a young girl in our village. You think the missionaries might have sought vengeance? I don't know. But he might have went to find them in their village. He bears no good feelings towards them. I will go and see. Maybe they can tell me more. Okay. Could you tell me about the missionaries? The Mind Shakers. They came here to take us to a marvelous village. They said it was a perfect place where all is shining in light and where there is no danger. Their words seem to have been to your liking. A place full of peace is a dream. Here we must fight to survive since the Tenlands have grown angry. And now, their stories of light are difficult to imagine. It seems like a beautiful place, though. But my brother fought with them. They gave trouble to a young girl, one of his friends. He told me that these mind shakers were liars. That they were hurting the more innocent young. I don't really know what to think. If they took them, could you tell them to give them back? There is no fair trade for our children. The story about the fight compels me to at least ask them some questions. I think we know a, pretty much a lot about the Tenlands and their be. aggravation. So let's go to the next family. I was, I was slightly concerned that his brother had a, a fallen out with the Master Hunter, but... It's, it's starting to go more towards the missionaries from the continent. I feel like this family is going to have something to say that parallels that. Good day. I've been sent here by your Denegad. He asked me to help you. I hope he is right and that you are not like the Moin Shakers. My sister has gone missing. It is for that very reason that I am here. To attempt to find her or to understand what has happened. Then I will tell you what I know. Your sister, what does she look like? She is a very beautiful young woman. Kind and sweet. I miss her so very much. Is she very careful? Does she know she should be wary of the beasts? Oh yes, she knows it very well. 
but she has been star-eyed of late. And the stars make you forget all caution. Sounds like a lot of people are starting to get, uh, brainwashed. I really do. I really do think that. The moment she disappeared. How long has she been missing? Two nights have gone by since. She told me that she was going to gather berries. It was early in the day, but she never returned. I called for her from the edge of the village, in vain, and the ten lands were roaming. Do you know where she usually goes picking? Certainly, in the clearing. We find a great many berries there. Is there anyone in the village that might want to harm her? No, no, everyone loves her. Maybe a little too much. Why do you say that? She is beautiful and young. The mind shakers took notice. And the boys of the village did as well. What do you think has likely happened? She might have been attacked by the Tenlands. But it was early, and they come out mostly at night. You think it might have been something else? I hope. Even if it is a strange hope. Perhaps she was taken by the mind shakers. They were pestering her the other day. They behaved without respect. A boy intervened and chased them off. But you think that they might have captured her when she was outside of the village? That merits inspection. <laughs> it really does. Was your sister fond of a young fisherman who also disappeared by any chance? They have known each other since they were little. Like all the children of the village, they have always been friends. Only friends? Yes. He defended her when the mind shakers wanted to take her. But she is promised to another. I couldn't care less about her reputation. An engagement can be broken. If you know anything at all... I have told you all I know. My sister is certainly wounded somewhere or... taken by the mind shakers. Very well. Time to get on with my investigations. Tell me about the Tenlands, about their attacks. Before, I only very rarely came across the beasts. We knew their nesting grounds and kept clear of them. But now they are everywhere and they attack everyone. They've even been known to come as close as the clearing where we pick berries. Very far from their favorite grounds. Do you know how to fight them? No, I am not a fighter. If you want such advice, ask the master hunter. Very well. I will go and investigate this clearing. Perhaps they've built a nest nearby. It is possible. Because before, there was never one near there. Could you tell me anything about the missionaries? They are monosynaic. They think that they can take anything they desire. What do you mean? They came to our beautiful village. They wanted to take away our young people. Many heard their words and left. We never saw them again. But I saw how they treated my sister. I believe that they take the young to serve them. They wanted to take my sister like that, as if she were a tool. And if it were not for the young fisherman. The one who's also missing? Yes. He was very brave. I hope they didn't hurt her to avenge their pride. I'm going to have to go and speak with them. I must leave now. Oh my god. Um... Yeah, holy crap. Okay, so there's so many. Find and destroy Tenland's nests. What do we have here? Passage leading to the, sh to the shore. Okay. And I don't see... Okay. Talk to the missionaries. Hmm. I want to definitely go to this nest and take care of that. Like right now. Um, but I think we might have to handle the missionaries on a different, uh, different day. However, there are so many possibilities right now. And, and you guys let me know what you think. Do you think it's a, a lover's disappearance? They ran off together, decided to have their own, their own thing, disappear, get away from the village. Um, and then at the same time, the missionaries have been convincing people to leave and this Tenland situation just happens to be a coincidence 
or maybe a separate party's involved. Because with clear skin, that, that sounds like sorcery. Clear skin? Who? What? Clear skin. Right, before I jump down to Neverland, where did we end up? Where are we? Oh, whoops. We gotta go around. Can we see them from here? No, we can't see much from here. Okay. But yeah, let me know. Let me know. Because, I don't know, I feel like there's a ton of options in the air right now. Everyone wants it to be the Mind Shakers. So that makes me feel like it's not the missionaries completely. Because greedful being greedful, no one's 100% innocent. I like the music. Given the presence of the tenons in this clearing, there must be a nest not far from here. So those are tenons. Alright, uh, I'm gonna totally shadow burst all up in the nest. That didn't do much. That did not do much. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, dude, dude. Get out of here. Right, hopefully I can get some armor uh, on the armor ointment. There we go. I should come back later. Really? Really? The dominant one? Oh. The ideal man. It's like fishing. Make it explode. Dude, for real. <laughs> These guys sling mud so fast. Who's the dominant one? <laughs> They're equally all just the pain. <laughs> there we go. Nice, nice. Green blood, my friend. Glad to see you. I'd like to talk to you about something. I'm listening. Remember that note we found in Rolf's office? Of course. The one that said the recruits had been sent to different governors? Yes. It was signed with a name I'm familiar with. Herman. Somebody I'd hope never to cross paths with again. He was the one who founded the camp we closed. And believe me, he has done an incredible amount of damage to the guard. I'm gonna find him and make him pay for what he's done. I know that he's in San Mateus. Ooh, we are not taking care of that Another now. <laughs> All right. Anything else? Ask him about. No, no, that's it. I must leave you. Yeah, I don't want to talk to Kurt, and uh, didn't expect to have another side mission. I don't know why, but I just expected one per character. But that's pretty cool that we got a few. You keep going on the uh, the coin guard missions. I'm excited for that. Um, all right. So we're back at dawn. We blew up that nest. Uh, I don't know why I said a plural. It was just a singular nest. <laughs> um, no, that was actually not as climactic as I thought it was going to be. I thought the dominant one would have been some creature that would have been huge and extremely, extremely noticeable. They just kind of all look like the same Tenlin. Huh. Curiouser and curiouser. But I think that's all the time we have for today. And truthfully, this 
this area, this passage leads to the shore, um, which I have yet to explore. I don't think I've gone to the shore yet in the singing waters. And I'm basically going to go into missionary camp and talk to them and be like, hey, man, what's up? But I feel like it's just going to lead me back here. What's this? Training barracks. Training. Who's training barracks? Was this? The, oh, it was the ghost camp. Yep. Okay. So <laughs> I really think we may have a few things going or rather I hope we have a few things going on that the Tenlands may be tied to the missionaries but the missing villagers might be their own thing hmm hmm <laughs> uh, but yes if you enjoyed the video please leave a like share your thoughts in the comment section down below and if you would like to see more subscribe uh, we're going to be in the singing waters for a little bit. <laughs>